welcome to this foundation level of the Windows Server 2025 video series. We will cover the Windows Server licensing types and the key Windows Server 2025 messaging. We will then cover the Reseller Option Kit, or ROC, and the options available to suit different customer needs. The end of support dates for Windows Server 2012, 2016, 2019 and 2022 are set out and we'll explore the opportunities this presents for partners. Finally, we'll outline the next steps, including further training. Windows Server 2025 helps customers to modernize and prepare for the future. It enables them to drive innovation, secure data and improve IT agility. Modernizing server environments is one of the key drivers for most businesses. Manageability, ease of support and most importantly, security is often top of mind. In this section, we will cover some key messages that help customers understand how they can take advantage of Windows Server 2025 and how it modernizes their server environment. Windows Server 2025 delivers a modern operating system that enables enhanced virtual machine memory, expanded processor and device support, superior congestion control and improvements in encryption, networking and more. Security is among the main concerns for businesses nowadays, with Windows Server 2025 multi-layered security to help protect their business from rapidly evolving cyber threats while making management easier for their team. Windows Server 2025 modernizes on-premises infrastructures while gaining many of the performance, security and innovation benefits of the cloud. Customers can extend data centers to Azure for greater IT efficiency, simplified management and enhanced security with Azure Arc. In Windows Server 2025, the Azure Arc setup feature is included as a feature on demand meaning it's available but not installed by default. Businesses that need to support remote working may be especially concerned with the additional security threats that this introduced. The enhanced Windows Defender capabilities, secure virtualization and streamlined access and identity management addresses these concerns. Staff can work from places that are convenient for them seamlessly and safely. And for customers that use containers, an important aspect of container management is portability. Portability simplifies upgrades by applying enhanced flexibility and compatibility of containers in Windows. There are three additions available based on customer needs, Essentials, Standard and Data Center. Windows Server. Essentials is ideal for small businesses with up to 25 users and 50 devices that need basic server functionality. It is restricted, however, to single CPU servers with 10 or fewer cores. Windows Server Standard is ideal for customers with physical or minimally virtualized environments. It allows the maximum of two virtual machines. However, purchasing additional licensing will be needed to run additional virtual machines with Windows Server Standard Edition. Windows Server Data Center is designed for customers with more demanding IT workloads. It is suitable for those that need virtualization with unlimited VMs. It supports highly virtualized and software-defined data center environments. The Windows Server Core Licensing Calculator can be used to calculate the number of base and additional licenses required for a solution. Note that all physical cores in a server must be licensed. There is a minimum of eight cores that must be licensed for each processor, and a minimum of 16 cores must be licensed for each server. To use the calculator, select the type of licenses that are needed, enter the information about processors and cores, and the number of licenses that are required will be calculated. You can see here the difference between the base license and additional licenses. The base license is for 16 cores. Additional licenses may then be added for two, four or 16 cores. 
As an example, a customer might purchase a standard edition and then buy additional core licenses as if they need more than two VMs. You should check the pricing for your specific customer, however, we generally recommend that Data Center Edition is more cost effective when six or more concurrent VMs are required. We will now provide an overview of the Client Access Licenses or CALs. These give users and devices the right to access a server installed with Microsoft Server 2025 or earlier versions as needed. The CALs are required in addition to the server license as described earlier. This two-component license structure provides a low entry price and a way to pay for capacity used. The more devices or users accessing the server software, the greater the license fees. The Essentials Edition does not require separate CAL licenses. Standard and Data Center Editions do require CALs that must be purchased separately. This gives the possibility to partners to boost sales revenues by adding the CAL to deals. There are three types of CAL, being user, device and RDS, based on the type of access that is required. User CALs give access to a single user with unlimited devices. These are ideal for companies with employees who need to have roaming access to the corporate network using multiple devices. Device CALs give access to a single device with unlimited users. These are ideal for companies with multiple users for one device, such as shift workers. Remote desktop services, or RDS CALs, are required for remote desktop access. These are ideal for companies with users that need to access applications or the full desktop remotely. CALs can be purchased separately as needed. They can be purchased through the HPE channel. They are available as single CALs or in packs of multiple quantities. Check the current price list for the available quantities, typically 5, 10 and 50. Rock is a software distribution model that makes purchasing the Windows Server 2025 operating system easy and cost effective. It's easy to add to an HPE ProLiant server sale because Rock is sold using the same price list as memory, hard drives and other server options. It is install ready, meaning it has been tested, tuned and certified with HPE ProLiant servers. It is packaged with custom installation tools and all the latest drivers under the strictest security measures. Remember, HPE ROC licenses are the same Windows Server 2025 licenses that are available directly from Microsoft, but with additional added benefits. These are covered in the intermediate video in this series. The extended security updates and extended support have already ended for Windows Server 2012. Windows Server 2016 and 2019 are each now in the extended support period. Mainstream support for Windows Server 2022 is set to end on the 13th of October 2026, but will have extended support for another five years. Therefore, it is important to discuss an upgrade plan to Windows Server 2025. This is an opportunity to talk to your customers about modernizing their software and hardware. The key features of Windows Server 2025 that differ from Windows Server 2022 and the associated benefits are discussed in the advanced module in this series. Visit HPE Seismic for more information about Windows Server 2025 and licensing. HPE Seismic can be accessed via a direct link or from the HPE Partner Ready Portal using your Partner Ready credentials. Just type Windows Server 2025 in the search box to find related collateral. You can now take the assessment that follows this module. Once complete, you will be ready to move on to the next video in this series which focuses on Windows Server Data Center Edition and its features. Thank you.